Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're going to talk about is ChargePoint stock or the stock it's going to be merged with which is Switchback Energy, is this a company to go buy and we'll be taking a look. Now this stock, this stock has really been on my list for like a good kind of two months I believe now for me to look into and the stock has done really well but we're going to take this, uh, well I'm eventually now going to have a look and see if it's a good opportunity to go buy this company. Now the big thing that gets me really interested in this is that we've seen how well a lot of EV companies have done, especially like the SPAC stage and this has done quite well even though it's not exactly an EV, it's more of a charging station for a lot of these electric vehicles that come up. And this company really interests me from that point of view that it's in the EV space but it's not competing with the likes of Tesla for example, it's actually a, ch you know, a charging station. And when I think about charging stations, I think, well, if we move into more and more EV cars, especially in like the likes of Europe, for example, over the next kind of two, five, ten years, one of the key things that we need and everyone's forgetting is that everyone's getting caught with like the next EV vehicles, that what do we need for these EV vehicles to work? You know, the tr traditional, you know, gas stations, petrol stations, they're not going to work and sure they might eventually up the game and put a few more EV uh, charging stations in these kind of um, petrol stations but there's going to be a massive charging network that needs to get built and I know tests are involved in this but there needs to be a lot of uh, wide range coverage and when I was looking into ChargePoint I looked into this company and I was like so these guys are in many companies they are increasing the amount of stations that they've had every year they're historically a company that's been around for a long time as well and Tesla can't dominate all you know people more and more of these stations need to be built rapidly you know a lot of people that live in these a lot more in um, central to cities for example um, if they live in built up areas flats it might be very difficult for them to have these charging stations you know they, they might not be have driveways or garages where they can connect them so these charge stations will be more and more popular in workplaces or even um, you know supermarkets for example some something that you go to every day so you can get you know two birds with one stone you charge your car up you go do your shops uh, you know th this is something that really needs to build up and charge point is very good at what it does you know it's one of the biggest players in here obviously tesla has its charge stations but the other player apart from them guys is these guys charge point and that straight away connected with me with oh this is a good growing industry a company that's um already built up quite a good scale you know we're not talking about a, a company that's coming through SPACs that is not going to make revenue for the next two years this company has been doing it and that's the really big thing that got me interested in this one now i'm probably filming this on the wrong time to be fair because i'm filming this on the uh, 15th of december which as far as i'm aware is actually supposed to be the merger date but I've been look I, when I always look into SPAC stocks, I always just see when the merger is, what the details are, just to be careful because obviously I don't want to be buying. You know, it's very rare it happens, but I don't want to be buying a company that then doesn't the merger doesn't happen. You know, <laughs> you know, then you're not actually buying the company that you're attending to. So I will having a look through the merger, and like I say, it's probably the worst day to do it because things might change during the day. But as far as I'm aware, looking through the merger has as of yesterday, uh, the 14th has been delayed to January and that date is still not confirmed but it looks like it could be like January the 15th so um, I looked at pre-market the pre-market is only down a little bit nothing huge so I'm not sure if there'll be a you know when this kind of comes a bit more reality that the merger has been delayed maybe that will cause the stock price to kind of dip down a little bit um, but yeah that's something to be careful of is that um, there's not much talk about it at the moment but I believe the merger has been delayed uh, but hey you know what a day to film it on the actual supposed you know actual merger day so we'll see what happens there that might by the time the video goes up that might have changed slightly but that's the up-to-date information that I found out about it but we'll get stuck into the company now so like I say this company um, ChargePoint is going to be merging with Switchback Energy and obviously you know me I like buying great companies at cheap prices now this is a pretty decent company but you know I'm not going to say it to the end of the video the price is quite a bit here you know the company is obviously most backs are like ten dollars obviously this has gone up to thirty five dollars and you guys can probably guess what I am going to say about that valuation but nevertheless with you know if there's some negative news that comes out and this stock starts dropping down a little bit you know SPACs will move around then I want to make sure that I know the company in and out so when it does get to the price um, 
that is a lot better for me, is it a good company to go buy? And that's the main thing that I want to kind of get my head around at the moment. So we're going to go through the investor relations and we open up the page here. Founded in 2007, ChargePoint has built one of the world's leading electric vehicle charging networks. Uh, we've got a little summary here of the leadership here. We've got details about the, the pipe, the debt, enterprise value of 2.4 billion, which is key. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. And uh, we've got a list of all the partners here that um, ChargePoint have. It's even got Tesla here, funny enough. I'm not 100% sure how the uh, Tesla partnership works. I wonder if it's just because the, the cars are compatible with the ChargePoint stations. Not 100% sure on that one, but you can see like some of these people will be using it as, uh, you know, in the workplace, for example. Um, there'll be a lot of that coming up. So there's definitely a lot of big, uh, you know, names here. There was another SPAC stock that came on to... Uh, there was a charging network that came on the other day and um, you looked at their partners partners, and they were good but they were nowhere near the list here that ChargePoint have um, but it's always worth just going into detail about them exactly to um, know, you know, like I say, Tesla, I'm not 100% sure how that partnership works, it might just be that, you know, they're a little bit, um, you know, compatible with uh, with the cars and that's all it is. And you can see here the growth uh, or the plan that has happened with ChargePoint. And yeah, you can see the amount of countries that they've been in, you know, US to 2012, you see Canada coming in in 2016, and then you see the uh, European expansion and you see how, you know, they're looking at workplace, retail, uh, education, fueling, like this is what I said, you know, previously is like, you know, you look at where they can go with this and, you know, the charge point locations they can put in. Um, it could be really massive um, for them going forward and you see in the future you get um, the plans that I have uh, for further country expansions going forward. Um, and yeah, uh, really good from their point of view. And you can see here, one thing that I really like about this is uh, the locations and how easy it is to get charge point locations. I think, you know, if they can dominate the app side of it, make it really useful to use, I think that I'll get a lot of customers. I did check like how close to is charge points around me. I was actually really surprised. I think there's actually like three locations where I am, um, which is pretty good. Um, I kind of wanted to go see one to be fair, but hey, you know, it's. I think that's what, one thing that's gonna definitely make it um, a great thing and this is kind of like a plan of where they all are so you can see here uh, market share networking charging and you can see you know um 73 percent here uh charge point and seven times x to the closer competitor you know you got blink there those are ones of guys that have done really well but when you put in this sort of view you see how much actually charge point knocks them out of the park insane um and then i was actually really surprised to see how much um shell had i didn't realize that's how far they managed to get up to and Obviously, some other companies here. Um, number one brand, brand in North America, a blueprint for growth, and then obviously you know um, they're looking at European side as well a lot more. You know, you see on the US map, look how many locations to have, whereas UK is a little bit more you know barer than the US side of it. You know, you can see the UK uh, ourselves here, um, but yeah, um, pretty good uh, from that point of view. And you can see here the plan of uh, future growth as well for ChargePoint. You know, um, it says here. Uh, COVID impacts, obviously that slowed it down a little bit, but company's doing about um, 147 million in revenue, which is okay, probably about right for a SPAC. Um, and then you can see the growth here um, that goes up to, it looks like they're gonna cross the billion, uh, a billion revenue around 2024. So that's key when we get to the valuation side of it. Um, but yeah, um, obviously we see the, they are making uh, revenue at the moment. And then we get to uh, the great thing, which is like the um, profit and revenue side of it. And like I said, we saw earlier the revenue side of it, uh, adjusted EBITDA, which is always key. So we can see that um, losing money 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. So they are not going to be a profitable company for about another four years or three years, I guess you could say now. Um, so they're still quite far off profitability, which is the only little snag here. It would be good if they're going to be a bit more profitable, but hey, um, Obviously, you know, the, it, it's you, know, you you are building massive charging stations, which has, is, is not going to be the cheapest thing ever, but um, yeah. And there's a bit of a breakdown here of the pipe and everything like that. And you can see here the cash here is um, going to be about 648 million. So I believe that they won't have to, you know, raise any cash, um, which is a bonus thing. Um, so I think this should be okay. Um, should be have, having some decent decent cash there, and like I said, with the cash they're burning through, um, yeah, they should be all right. Um, so yeah, not too bad of a balance sheet either. But I guess the key thing here is when we look at the uh, the value of the company, two point four billion, and this is obviously uh, when the the shares were ten dollars. So 
Obviously, the, the shares have gone up quite a lot now. They're about $35. Um, so that actually puts the company at a very hefty valuation and um, puts it somewhere around about an 8.5 billion valuation for a company that makes 100 million in revenue. So, yeah, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's, you know, you're talking 80 times the revenue you're paying up for here, which is is crazy. <laughs> it is it is really, really crazy valuation. Um, but probably one of the biggest valuations I've seen for a long, long time. And that's the big thing for me. You know, you look at everything else, it's pretty good. But damn, that valuation, you know, it is it is a massive amount. So overall, my opinions with it is I like where the company is going. And I think it has great plans ahead of it. And I think it could be a very successful company. The only problem that comes across to me now is as an investor. Now, obviously, you guys know me. I like to buy great companies at cheap prices. And this could be a great company. And that's a key word, could. So we are talking about a bit more of a spec stock. And another thing as well, um, so that means high, you know, high risk, high reward. But remember, the high risk doesn't always mean it'll be successful. And the big thing as well is that valuation. You know, that, that value for the company, you know, it is, it is a big, big value. So without doubt, you guys know me, I, I definitely these sort of valuations, I cannot buy it at this sort of valuation. For me, a realistic valuation has to be under $20. Under $20, I start thinking, okay, this is not terrible. And then that might interest me. Under $20, obviously that means the stock has to come down loads. And if it doesn't, I'm fine with that because for what I have to pay up at the moment for this company is way too much. So under $20 does start to get me a little bit more interesting. Obviously that is still paying up about 5 billion for this company, which is still a lot considering what what it, what stage it's at. So yeah, 20 for me is probably where I get interested. I mean, you, if depending on what opportunities are out there, I might go at 20, under, under 20. If there is a lot of opportunities out there to get me attracted into this, I'm probably looking under $15, which I know is probably not likely, um, but we'll see what happens, you know. That's the thing, it's all about risk to reward and I've got to make sure my reward's bigger than my risk. So I'll see where this one goes and, and now I've looked into the company, I know that it's a good company and it has a lot of opportunity out here. I've just got to be really careful about that valuation because it is probably one of the steepest valuations I've seen for a long time. So yeah, that's where I'm at with ChargePoint. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you could, smash the like button. If you are new, if you could subscribe, that'd be absolutely amazing. Let me know if you are in ChargePoint and if you have a good average, um, that'd be absolutely amazing as well. And I'll see you in the next video.